Hello, today we're going to discuss priming in a unist pump-based system. This procedure will apply to any system that uses either a standard one or three drop pump or an MV style one or two drop pump. This includes cool lubricators, servo sprays, amongst others. If you ever notice that a pump is stroking properly but you're not getting any fluid output, the first thing you should do to try to fix the problem is to prime the pump and bleed any air out of the pump. There are many reasons why you might need to prime a pump, including if the reservoir was run dry, if the pump was taken apart for service, or if it was just a brand new pump with no fluid in it. The procedure is very simple and only takes a few seconds. Here we have a typical cool lubricator system with a single standard three drop pump. Once you ensure that the fluid reservoir is full, you can apply air pressure to the system to actuate the pump. To speed up the process, it is advantageous to make sure the pump is at full stroke. On a standard pump, this means the brass adjustment knob is screwed clockwise all the way in. For an MV style pump, the aluminum adjustment knob would need to be screwed counterclockwise all the way out. It will also help to increase the pump cycle rate by changing the pulse generator setting. Make sure to take note of any settings prior to adjusting the pump to full stroke and or adjusting the system cycle rate so you can return it to its original setting when you are done. Using a 5 16 nut driver, simply loosen the brass screw on the bottom pump. The screw only needs to be loosened a few turns until fluid comes out. All that you need is fluid to begin draining from the screw hole and then you can retighten the screw. Please note that this is a brass screw and it can break if it is over tightened. Once you have done that, you can observe the pump outlet in the capillary to ensure that it is indeed pumping fluid. This system only has one pump in the stack. On systems with multiple pumps, it may take several attempts to prime each pump and get them working properly. Get one pump working and then work your way up or down the pump stack until all the pumps are properly pumping fluid. Thanks for watching. Contact us for more information.